So here we are. Welcome to Somewhere in Time. Uh, I just want to share with you um, a Seiko that I think has kind of sneaked in a bit under the radar. Um, in between the, uh, or <laughs> while the uh, SKX was being discontinued in the introduction of the, what they're known as the 5KX, they uh, released this, uh, this other line of Seiko 5 Sports and I think they're... Uh, been uh, missed out a little bit now this one i mean as we know um seiko do like to give themselves some their watches some very sexy names of course this is known as the srpb 94 k1 um just give you some quick specs on it uh, measurements etc it's got a 43 millimeter case uh, the case thickness is uh, 12 millimeters and lug to lug is 49 millimeters lug width is 22 um, it actually lends itself very nicely uh, to uh, changing out the strap on it um, i've had it on leather i've had it on um, nato's uh, zulu divers all sorts of straps and it actually does does suit it pretty well the uh, the crystal on this is hardlex uh, it's actually worn pretty well. I've had this watch now for getting on for two years. Uh, the reason for the gloves, by the way, is because uh, there are some polished surfaces on this and uh, it is a little bit of a smudge magnet. Um, I mean, as you can see, if I get that in the light, you can see where it's picked up some scratches along the way. It has been well used and well worn and I have to say well loved. Um, if you actually look at that case profile, You've got some nice curvature to that case. It just helps that bracelet round quite nicely. And that end link, it will conform to pretty much any wrist you like. Um, as far as the dial goes, um, you've got applied indices. They're kind of a Rolex style type of uh, index at markers, I would think you could call that. Uh, date window at three o'clock. The uh, semi-skeletonized hands, which I actually think are pretty cool, um, you know, quite individual, and uh, the gold second hand. I uh, don't know if the camera's picking it up particularly well, but it is actually more legible than you would think. Um, as far as the bezel goes, uh, Seiko's are renowned for their bezels not quite lining up properly and as you can see this one is no different, although it could be me and the way I've left it. As for bezel action, uh, it's uh, 120 click and it's actually quite smooth, it's got a little bit of tightness to it, you're certainly going to knock, you're not going to knock it if you're uh, actually using this in the water. But uh, as it's a sports model and uh, not a full diver, not ISO certified, I certainly wouldn't recommend it for air diving. Uh, there is no screw down crown. It's just a push pull. And uh, you, that's also your hand winding with uh, the 4R35 movement, a Seiko workhorse. As far as timekeeping goes, this one is running around about plus nine seconds a day. Um, 23 dual hand winding and hacking movement. Um, it's pretty much the, the, the movement they put in most of their divers these days. Um, the uh, case back, you get an exhibition case back. And I just pop the uh, bracelet open so you can see that. If I can get that to focus in, there we go. And screw down case back. 100 meters water resistance all the rest of the info that you need is written on the case back um, with the bracelet you can see there that you've got hollow end links which I guess is what you would expect at this price point um, as far as the loom goes the loom is pretty good it's uh, what you would expect from Seiko uh, lasts throughout most of the night there's obviously there's more on the hands than, <laughs> than there is on the indices but uh, I, I, that's really a bit of a given. Um, 
as far as adjusting the bracelet goes, it's actually pretty easy. They're uh, push pins in this. There's no pin and collar system that's been employed, thankfully, because I keep losing those silly little collars. I don't know about you. The uh, you've got the uh, uh, four four micro adjusts on the bracelet as well, so that's quite handy. There is no diver's extension, but like I said, this isn't really a diver's watch. When this was new, uh, you can tell that it was a, a brushed surface on the clasp, a little bit of polishing on the sh on the chamfer there. Um, but other than that, it is just a standard Seiko pressed clasp, just does the job nice and secure. Uh, I've never had it pop off. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, what I like and what I don't like, um, I actually think this is a really nice looking watch. Uh, got a nice sunburst effect going on on the dial as well. Um, and the little bit of red text where underneath the, uh, the well, what is now the old style 5 logo where it says the sports, which I think is pretty nice. I like the way that the, as I said earlier, the, you've got the case shape, so it does curve in a little bit because being a 49mm lug to lug, it is quite a large watch. Uh, this is uh, sized to fit my seven and three quarter inch wrist. If I just slip that on for you, so you can have a look and see what it's like on the wrist. And there we go. But it does, it does wear very nicely, very comfortable. So there you have it. The Seiko 5 Sports SRPB94K1. Uh, if you can get yourself one of these, I really think that you should. It's, uh, you know, they're, like I said, they're a little bit under the radar. Uh, they came out before the, what they're, <laughs> the, the new Seiko 5s or the 5KX, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not really decided on what I think about those yet. Maybe I'll get one, maybe I won't. Um, but uh, yeah, there you go. If you can find one, I'll try and find out a link to where you can buy them. Uh, I'll try and find out the link to where I bought this one from. Uh, they are still available and I believe they've got on, on offer at the moment. You can get them at a really reasonable price. Okay, well, thanks for watching. If you've, uh, if you've liked this video, if you found it at all useful uh, or even entertaining in any way then um, you know please like the video by all means leave a comment good comments or bad comments I don't share all comments are welcome uh, hit the subscribe button and the little bell make sure that you get notified when I upload any new content okay thanks for watching catch you in the next video